So tell me, um, now I'm ready to come to the store and, and buy a phone for my child. What are some different things that I should know about when I go looking for a cell phone? Okay. Well, I would definitely say, you know, educate yourself on what's available. You can look online and find out a lot of the things in terms of safeguards that Verizon has available for you as a consumer. Uh, you do want to talk with your child and find out what they're interested in and why. Uh, to get a good grip on that, but you would also, again, need to determine how you want your child to use that phone. Is it just so that they can notify you when they get off the bus every day? Is it when you're in the mall in case you get separated from each other? So you need to have those kind of conversations. Also, what limits you want to set with your child? It is a great tool to teach responsibility. We've heard from many parents that say that. So, uh, again, have a lot of conversation about what's how you want them to use the phone. Let's say I just want something in their pocket for them to be able to maybe send a quick text. Like right. you said, you mentioned when you get off the bus. bus. So uh, right. so show me kind of the, the starter, the basic, simple, contact me on an emergency phone. Okay. Well, this is a device that a lot of uh, customers and a lot of parents will choose because it's very simple. It is a flip phone, which, of course, is interesting for a lot of children. They do want something that's stylish. But one feature on this phone, as well as a lot of phones that Verizon offers, is that it has the, the 911 button because you want it to, your child to be able to call in case there's emergency. Maybe not just you, but the proper authorities. So this is something that's uh, very interesting to a lot of parents. You can always pre-program certain numbers as well in the keypad of the phone. So that's a really good simple phone that a lot of parents are interested in. So now they've proven that they can keep up with a phone. I imagine that's right. one of the, the big factors is oh, can yes. your child keep up with it? That's if right. you're if you're losing it daily it may become a, a bigger mm -hmm. source of conflict than assurance. That's great. Um, but it, we've earned our oats now and entered maybe middle school and want to go mm -hmm. to something a little more what the kid wants. What, what do you see the kids come in and ask for? Well the first thing is they want a full keypad because they're wanting to text and if they're going to con and this is a, a, an example of a phone that's a available with the full keypad so that they can actually text or use it this way in case they just want to make a voice call. But, but let's face it, a lot of times as they get older, uh, what they want to do is if you want them to call you when they've arrived at a certain destination with their friend, they're going to text message you uh, many times more so than they're going to call you because let's face it, it's not cool to them. So they want to text. Now we hear a lot about things like um, sexting has become kind of a buzzword for, for parents to be right. aware of. Um, there are some things in place that parents can do to help prevent that sort of thing. Talk oh, about absolutely. that. absolutely. Uh, the parents can absolutely maintain control control of that device that they give to their, their child. And one of the things is called content filtering and Verizon offers is free of charge. And it's an age-based system. It's like C7, uh, T13, Y17, so that you can base, uh, block content based on their age. And that would be internet content, music, games, video, etc. So you definitely can block that. You also can block text messaging, picture messaging during certain parts of the day, certain times, so you definitely have a lot of flexibility and control in that area. And you also can set those things up to help you with your billing. I'm going to scan over here and give okay. this man some TV time because ultimately for a lot of us, that's what it comes down to. At the end of the month, what's my bill going to say? Um, so what would you recommend, sir, if someone um, wanted to keep their bill down while their child had their first phone? How, how can we help a kids not run it into the, the ground with the text messages? Well, I would recommend unlimited text packages would be included in all of our rate plans here. Um, that generally would um, help them save on a child going over on text messages. Um, you also have a lot of children that maybe you want to download ringtone. I would recommend at least a 999 data package would, would include 25 megabytes. That'll save you on the um, going over on the data. So that's some of the things that I would recommend um, for the parents to get for their child. Now, for a, a younger child that I only want them to be able to call me, though, I can get all those things included in like my friends and my, my circle of calls and. You can get that included with, um, we also offer um, Friends and Family, which comes with our 1400 minute package and above. Um, it would include talk and text, so it gives them unlimited text messaging, so they can text friends that's not on Verizon that may be on another carrier. That will save the parents on um, going over on text messages. So that would be some of the things that I would recommend for the parent and the child. Thank you very much. Okay, anything else from the Verizon store? Well, again, it, we just want to help any parent educate themselves on what's available so that you can help make that decision when your child is ready for a cell phone.